Also tonight, Mercy One and Broadlawns in Des Moines are the latest healthcare facilities to require staff to be vaccinated. Those announcements came today. Both health providers say employees can apply for exemptions when it comes to medical conditions or religious beliefs. Otherwise, staff members must be fully vaccinated by November 1st. Unity Point, you'll remember, made a similar announcement last week. Perhaps part of the reason for these vaccine mandates is what doctors are seeing among unvaccinated patients. An infectious disease physician at Mercy One explained today how people's bodies are being ravaged by this virus. So it does do significant damage to the lungs, and it does take a long time for people's lungs to recover from that damage. And in some people, unfortunately, uh, it does so much damage that uh, there's a point of no return and people end up dying. But uh, 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 contrast that to perhaps a vaccinated individual, they might also get infected, but they will not have severe disease and they will not experience severe symptoms. And even if they do, uh, they get over it faster and, and, and they don't get severe illness. And Mercy One is operating at a limited capacity tonight because of the high number of patients there.